The Yavapai College District is hard at work coming up with creative ideas to combat the housing crisis that they're seeing in their six campuses. So one is by rolling in an RV parking lot and two is by building tiny homes like this one for their faculty, staff and students. If you build it, they will come. That's the thinking behind the Yavapai College District's creative ideas. Something like this can make a huge difference. Tiny homes and a future RV parking lot at some of the college's campuses for students and faculty to rent below market prices could be a solution to an affordable housing shortage hitting this district hard. We've noticed that our recruiting pools have been getting smaller and we believe that it's because of the high cost of living here in Yavapai County. We're currently about 20% above the national average. Dr. Clint Ewell is hopeful a 200 square foot house built by students could attract more students. We've had students telling us that they accepted our program, but then they had to change their mind because they couldn't find affordable housing. The goal is for three tiny homes to be rented by students at the Chino Valley campus by the 2024 spring semester. And over at the Verde Valley campus, where there are 75 acres of undeveloped land, that will become an RV parking lot, currently under construction, but set to be up and running by this fall semester. And we're going to put in 10 pads to begin with, and people will be able to either bring in their own, or we'll actually have four RVs of our own to rent to employees and to students. The rent will be $500 a month for RV owners and $700 for the tiny homes, and that includes utilities. Very creative ideas, but that's not it. The college is also working on printing 3D houses with concrete. Now, this is an idea they've been working on for quite a while, but they expect to be rolling out those homes soon. Reporting in Clarkdale, Casey Torres, Arizona's Family. Very creative.